ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਰਿਫਰੈਂਡਮ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਤੋਂ ਪੌਲ ਜੇਕਬ ਜੁੜ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਦੇ ਤੱਥ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲਵਾਂਗੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਆ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਔਨ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਪੌਲ ਉਹ ਆ ਜਾਓ Welcome on Radio Punjab. Oh, thank you very much. Good to be with you. So, uh, can you please share a little bit of your background of being uh, involved with uh, this commission? Well, I've I've worked on initiative and referendums in the United States for years. Did term limits limiting how long politicians can stay in office, which was very popular throughout the US. And then I've been involved in some things uh, around the world and we were asked to uh take part in this and provide some advice and counsel as to how to best hold a referendum and uh glad to help we think it's important that people be able to vote and express themselves so um how do you see some people question on uh, on the commission on the legacy of the commission um on the validation of commission how how do you respond to that well uh this is not a uh governmental referendum this is being done privately by seeks for justice but they're attempting to do it as much as possible using best practices from around the world and that's why they came to us and you know we're we're people who have a lot of experience people sometimes see things differently but we've we've worked uh all over the world and we're trying to share that experience so you know we're we're not suggesting that somehow we are the font of all knowledge but we're we're working closely with the the folks who are doing this and they've been very good about taking advice and trying to do it as as best they can so well, what would you say about this uh, uh, so as, as as we can see there are a number of people waiting in lines so uh, th- is there a possibility of a next referendum happening in lower mainland area you know i i don't know whether there'll be another one but i suspect that there will just because this is an incredible outpouring of people i've i've been present for ones that were held in london and in toronto uh they've been held in other places and it's always been a tremendous turnout but this is this is something else we just talked to people in line who said they've been in line for 2 hours and they probably have another 30 minutes or 45 minutes before they get to vote and uh people coming in in wheelchairs and uh and and you know crutches to get there so it's always very inspiring when you see people who care enough to come out and vote so i have one very interesting question so people wanted to know that so who decides the location of uh, oh, look uh, play, who decides the place where the referendum will be happening next well the the seeks for justice and the will decide where the next referendum will be they will ask advice as to where to hold it uh what sort of building and usually we try to have a a building that's a uh, a private uh place that that or or a public place that people can come to uh and of course in this particular case there was some problems late where uh, one of the schools said it, said it could be held there and then then said it could not be held there but those things you just kind of roll with them as best you can but i i think that the 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 effort will be in other places as well my friend have one question so uh, mr paul so there was a you know that uh, there is a school venue was canceled tamanavis secondary school so they have a uh, they cancel because they think there's a poster which sick for justice has there's a barrel gun barrel which was pierced by the pen so they the school board is thinking that this is promoting violence where else we see a united nation headquarter has same kind of gun which they uh, the barrel on the front is rounded which is a united nation anti gun violence campaign to stop the violence and the peace talk between the countries so the sec for justice is doing the same thing but howsoever that school is cancelled because they think that uh, the the youth or the school children they think that they are promoting a gun culture so what do you think about it well i've seen the the poster you're talking about and i think someone could look at it initially and misunderstand but as soon as you see that it's a pencil 
for someone to, because the pen is mightier than the sword. And of course, these have been totally peaceful. Uh, oftentimes in this day and age, people want to look at something and take it to some crazy extreme. That's not right. It's not right to stop people from holding a democratic event, a referendum. And it's obvious, I think, to anyone who's been around these events that they're absolutely peaceful. They're happy. People are trying to express themselves. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, there's everything right with that. So we, we see this all over the world where someone pulls out something and tries to make it something it's not. And so I, I think it's a shame here, but, uh, but you can't stop people from using their democratic rights. You can't stop people from speaking out. They're going to speak out. And that's why, as part of the referendum commission, we're glad to facilitate and help people to speak out. We don't have to agree. We don't take a position on how people in Punjab should live and, who, and whether they should be a separate state or part of India. That's for people from Punjab to decide. But we do want to facilitate them making that decision in a peaceful way. And that's what these referendums are all about. So to suggest that it's some sort of violence, there's been lots of violence over this issue. And it's, it's really sad and tragic. But this is the opposite of that. And so that needs to be recognized. So one last question is, so you think that referendum, the school referendum that has been, the venue was canceled. So is it a, is it an interference of India or it is a, you know, Canada democratic value for peaceful vote because they give the same right to Quebec too. They held a referendum in the Quebec. So we as a Canadian also, we are a Sikhs, but we are a Canadian also. Right. We also enjoy the rights as everybody else enjoy, as the Quebecer is enjoying. So, so you think the Canadian government should step up and help to facilitate this peaceful referendum? Well, I think that they should make certain that the laws of Canada are enforced. And I, I believe it's true in Canada, I know it's true in the United States of America, that you can't offer a venue like a school and then pull it back from somebody and especially if you don't have any real grounds. Obviously, if it was an event that was going to be violent, you could. But that's not the reality. That, that is a big mistake. So I think it's a big mistake. I don't know what the impetus was, whether it's Indian pressure or, or whether it's just a mistake that somebody made at the local level. But it is a mistake, and it ought to be rectified because you have a right, if you're a Canadian, regardless of, of whether you're a Sikh or you're not, or what, whatever your religion, your ethnicity is, you have a right to speak out and be heard. And the schools should facilitate that for everybody. And so uh, I, I think it's a shame, but I don't know, I don't know what caused it. I just know that it, it should be fixed. And the next time someone seeks to have a event at a school that's peaceful, they ought not to have politics get in the way. So, thank you. thank you. I have one uh, last question. This question is a little bit out of box. Uh, based on your experience with referendums, do you think that uh, this referendum can take place in uh, Punjab region of India? Well, from my knowledge of what's going on in the Punjab region, it could not take place there without people being arrested and imprisoned. And, and that's really, really sad. And it's the reason why it's being held all over the world is because it can't be held in Punjab. You know, I, I believe people in any region, anywhere in the world, have a right to decide their own future. Whether that's in the United States, whether that's, you know, maybe Puerto Rico doesn't want to be a territory anymore, that's up to the people of Puerto Rico. I think that's true around the world. And I don't know how they would vote in Punjab, but I do know that they don't have that opportunity. And so, we're glad to be able to help folks who want to give Sikhs all over the world a chance to speak out and to cast a vote. Mr. Jacob, uh, uh, what's your experience? Like in how many countries, or the, if you can name it, the country you already worked in in the referendums? Well, I have, uh, I've worked in 
the U.S. I've also been to London and worked on things there. I've uh, been in Taiwan, uh, a number of other countries, and most of my referendum experience is in the United States of America. That's where that's where I cut my teeth and have worked for decades. And it's really only recently that I've gotten involved in things like this and in and in events happening in other countries. But it's it look. We're all the same. We, we, we look different. We have different languages, but we're all looking for the same thing, and that is to be able to live our lives and to say what we want to say and to feel confident in where we live, that our, that our society treats us with respect, and that's all about democratic processes and accountability. And so uh, I, think, I think starting, look, uh, lots of people can grab a gun and very few problems get solved that way. And here are people grabbing ballots, and I think that's the best way to solve problems. And so this is, uh, this is something that I've had some experience around the world, I'm looking forward to have more, but I think anybody who is standing here today would see what's happening and say, this is good. Whether I agree with the folks who are the majority of folks and the way they're voting or not, this is beautiful to see people working for a democratic change. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for, Thank thanks you. for your time. Can you spell your full name? It's Paul, P-A-U-L, and then Jacob, J-A-C-O-B. Thank you.